can I um can can you maybe go a little bit like zoom a little bit out because especially for those that are completely new now to Cosmos and they like what are you talking about liquid staking? <laughs> Just to compare, because there's already also other um, staking derivatives out there, right? The yep. systems team has worked on P-Stake. Um, so people might have heard that one. And then uh, everybody's throwing around this term superfluid staking. Um, I, I saw somebody typed in, in a comment on my previous video, uh, superfood staking, I think uh, <laughs> that was a typo, but still. Um, can you maybe compare those three? And maybe there is more that I'm not aware of. Um, yeah. How do you differentiate? And maybe, Def, you can also jump in um, to talk about the, the superfluid uh, staking module. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, so let's, let's, like, let's zoom out and talk about, okay, so P-Stake. Um, P-Stake is an asset that primarily exists on Ethereum um, and backs essentially like, um, uh, um, it's like a synthetic asset that's created by like a multi-sig um, and is connected and is uh, uh, where like the atoms themselves are in a multi-sig and then they're like, you know, there's a, there, there's a, a, a bunch of keepers that are moving value between the Ethereum chain and the, um, and the Cosmos chain to allow this like key stake asset that trades on SushiSwap um, to exist. So you, you do have this and you, you do have essentially the full product stack. Um, and I believe also the key stake asset is being adopted by um, Terra's anchor um, as one of the, uh, assets that you can bring over into Anchor. Um, and, you know, so you you have this experiment with DeFi composability. But I think the, like, TVL of P-Stake is maybe maybe $100 million right now. Um, Hard uh, to get people to wait three weeks to unstake their atoms. Yeah, so people got to wait three weeks to unstake their atoms, use a sort of unfamiliar interface. You know, it's not like you have access to P-Stake within Kepler. Um you have to kind of go over to their app. You have to unstake your atoms. There are security trade-offs that are like not well explained or understood um, to get this. And it's, you know, it's basically, you know, they're hacking together this, this system because we don't have native support in the protocol for liquid staking. Um, and so, th so that's like one possible, uh, 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 that's like one thing. Um, I could explain super food staking, but Dave, if you want to take a try. Dave, 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 Dave yeah, sure. Smirch the PR, yeah, get at it. Yeah, so the idea of super food staking is that, uh, well, so if you do liquid staking, you have a problem with the security risk of, uh, well, now if someone tries to attack the, the chain, you know, that the whole idea is that you, you, if they try to attack it, you, you burn their money, it's at stake. Uh, but if it's if it's liquid, uh, then with the the fear is that they, okay, they can go sell their staked assets, and basically someone else is holding the risk while they commit the attack. So super, but but the reason we want this is because we want our economy to uh, basically we want people to be able to uh, stake assets, but also earn DeFi yields. So if you're if you're making like if your system's all in one chain, you can, or, or you know it's you want to uh, have like limited composability. Yeah, what you can do is this superfluid idea of okay, we'll go, let's, we'll go put that asset in DeFi, then we'll let our protocol reason about that DeFi risk, and then uh, you can stake in in uh, with the protocol. So in, uh, concretely in osmosis, like for LP shares, we're gonna reason it. We're gonna have the protocol reason with the risk of an LP share somehow. So you suppose you LP Adam Osmo, or say okay, well it has uh, suppose there's you, uh, LP. I don't know. Uh, 20 Adam, 100, uh, 100 Osmo, assuming the ratios are right. We're going to yep. say you can stake that LP share, there, and in exchange, you'll get like 95 Osmo worth of stake of yield. And it's 95 Osmo of stake, not 100, because that's the protocol reasoning about risk somehow. And similarly, the, the idea of like, so that's the idea of superfluid staking. So you can do this for lending as well, where if I'm lending out Osmo, I also want staking yield on that. I, I think that one of the things that helped superfluid staking click for me is like in order to have chain security what you want is a bunch of tokens locked up and to prevent a, a huge influx of tokens into this governance process and like all of these processes you mentioned lending and you know liquidity pools like that is locking your tokens up in a very real way so that also does contribute to the security of the chain 
So like, why don't we pay those folks staking yields as well? Makes a whole ton of sense. It's, it's something I'm very excited about on osmosis. Um, yeah, it's uh, an extension of this is like, it's kind of cool is interfood staking where it's like, well, okay, hey, suppose you've staked at a We need better though. branding on this. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I don't like the name interfood. It sounds too gross. Uh, I, I'm a big hater. <laughs> uh, but the, that is, you know, I stake Adam, uh, I have LP to Adam Osmo. Well, if the Cosmos hub is fine with the osmosis protocol risk, it can also uh, treat that Adam as, let that Adam be staked so the protocol can slash it in case of fault and in exchange give those Adams a uh, yield as well. So wh I think one of the other ways in which people experience the problem sort of viscerally that, um, that uh, superfluid staking is solving for Osmo is, you know, right now there's really a trade-off in any of the Osmo pairs on osmosis about whether or not you want to be sort of, uh, in an LP pool against the Osmo token and earning um, and then be subject to osmosis uh, and permanent loss and with osmosis mooning um, as it should be, um, you know, uh, we, you know, I would do this personally, like right now I'm, I'm, I'm staking more Osmo than I'm, uh, I'm LPing um, simply because like, you know, you don't want that in permanent loss um, mm -hmm. and you can go earn yield staking. Now, if, suddenly the only like suddenly this like just naked staking osmo gets out competed by super fluid staking osmo um because everybody who's in the osmo pairs suddenly is able to earn both yield from the staking product from staking and yield from rewards and yield from uh uh, uh from from like transaction fees like now you're like okay like now it, it's no brainer you you lp um, which is what Osmosis wants. Like Osmosis wants people to be LPing against Osmos pair, Osmo pairs. They don't want people, um, and they want you know, and they just need to pay us for the impermanent loss risk, which is you know fine right now. 